Well, we're uh, all set to close down now, just a couple of minutes left, so let's uh, bring it in. And it's not a bad day at all. You know, Nigel, it reminds me about... Okay, I, I know you said no cricket analogies, but I'm not <laughs> referring to no, any specific know. game. <laughs> it's just like that steady innings, right? You get the singles and by the end of it, you have a nice total on the board and that's what it reminds Rahul me of Rahul Dravid. I'm, I'm just not taking any names <laughs> or teams. I'm, I just said cricket in general. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Rahul Dravid, a bit of heartbreak, right? Part of 2003 and 2023. But be that as it may, it's been that sort of a day, a steady kind of day, though the mid-cap index has underperformed after a while. Plenty of stocks, though, did it pretty well. From the nifty pack itself, we have SBI Life, that's one of the top gainers. HDFC Life as well is doing pretty well. So both of them, they go home with the top honours of the day, up close around 25 to around 3%. Adani Enterprises as well was up close around 2%. And Hindalco popped up in trade. In fact, the metal index fell <coughs> badly. Whether it was Hindalco, JSW Steel, Tata Steel, all three of them did well. But keep in mind, the reason the markets ended high was because of a couple of heavy baits that managed to end with a gain of close to 100%. You have Reliance Industries and HDFC Bank, both of them going home with a percent apiece. In fact, the Nifty Metal Index is the best performing sectoral index. We've seen the dollar index also ease to a two-month low. Uh, and that's perhaps, uh, you know, given wings to the Nifty Metal Index, which is ending up with a gain of one and a quarter percent. On the mid-cap end of trade, the big star is Titagad Rail, on getting into the strategic partnership with ABB India, stock ends with a gain of nearly 7%. Oberoi Realty, the Thane launch, plus yesterday the news about the NCR foray, the stock was up close to about 4%. On the losing side, KPIT Tech got, you know, faced some drubbing, the stock lower by nearly about 4%. Other notable gainers um, on the mid-cap end, Ashok Leyland, Z Entertainment, Max Financial, IEX. These are stocks with gains anywhere between about 2 to 4%. Well, uh, not a bad day for mid-caps, as you were saying. I was just looking at the final moves uh, coming in on, for instance, on Ashok Leyland, 4% up over here. Uh, Kalyan Jula, 6.5%. RR Kabel, 8% on that stock. It's a recent listing. So, you know, clearly uh, people are looking around here and there. Uh, Hunasa, 5% by the time we're ending out. Uh, GETND, 3 to 4% higher. So, not a bad day for mid-caps, you'd have to say. Uh, a lot of individual selective stock action. That was the hallmark of the day. We're going home very close to the 19,780 mark. Uh, not bad for the index as well. Remember, uh, guys, tomorrow I mean, we'll come back and there'll be a lot of uh, back and forth around the FOMC minutes, which come out later this evening. Mm. And the markets will hope that the <coughs> recent cool-off on, on the bond yield side, at least that continues because the US markets have provided a very nice sort of a platform for us to start the day on. And I suppose we'll hope that uh, that only continues tomorrow. And NVIDIA's numbers, right? That'll be tracked very closely by the street because Nasdaq has had a five-day winning streak. So if NVIDIA provides a you know, good set of numbers, maybe the rally there continues. But uh, the bell has gone, the markets have ended, so we're going to slip into a very short break, but we'll come back with more.